Rome, long known as the Eternal City, endearly called the capital of the world and the city of the seven hills, but most notably the Vatican City for many Catholics. Whichever name comes to mind when you think of a place so rich in culture and tradition, there's definitely a slice of history, sightseeing, shopping, or culinary decadence awaiting you in a city of over 2.7 million people. The classic city of Rome can only be described in one word, breathtaking. It's said to date as far back as 753 BC. The thumbprints of time can be seen throughout the narrowly cobbled streets, from landmarks like the Colosseum that was once the center of entertainment for Roman gladiators, to the Roman Forum, the central area of the city where ancient Rome was built. The cultural and historical richness in its architecture can be felt the moment you first lay eyes on a monument. Stunning can't begin to describe what it feels like when you first absorb all the thousands of years of history and authenticity. Pictures in magazines and images on television cannot truly paint a portrait of Roman structures or portray their beauty and elegance. The Pantheon is one sightseeing stop you'll want to add to the top of your list. It was originally built as a temple dedicated to the gods. Now thousands flock to see it every year. Many make the pilgrimage to Rome to see the Vatican, St. Peter's Basilica, St. Peter's Square, and over 900 churches in and around the city. Millions of Catholics attend Mass by the Pope every year. The Vatican is the smallest state in the world, and inside the Vatican, you can find more than 10 museums, including the Sistine Chapel. The large Catholic presence in the city has influenced its culture over the centuries, not only through religion, but through architecture and the layout of the city. As you wind down the streets and shops, you'll see the beautiful fountains that are more like statement pieces in the middle of intersections. Some of the more popular ones to look for are the Trevi Fountain and Fountain of Four Rivers. The Trevi Fountain draws its inspiration from the Roman triumphal arches. It's the largest and most famous fountain of the Baroque period in Rome. The Fountain of the Four Rivers is located in Piazza Navona. The fountain portrays the gods of four great rivers from four continents. Rome is an open museum. On any corner you turn, doubt any road you travel. If you want to stop into a traditional museum though, there isn't a shortage of fine art or history for you to see. Starting with Museo Fundazione Roma that offers the very best in fine art, showcasing private collections for the public to appreciate. The exhibitions vary throughout the year, but the one thing you'll always count on is extraordinary beauty, precious masterpieces, and sculptures that draw you in. Castel Sant'Angelo is the mausoleum of Roman Emperor Hadrian. It was originally used by the Emperor's family, later by popes, and has now become a museum. The Tiber River runs right in front of it and its architecture draws large crowds every day. The Galleria Borghese in Villa Borghese is known for its fine art collection and classic sculptures. It's nestled in one of Rome's most famous parks that's surrounded by a lake, restaurants, cinema, galleries and activities for the kids. The Capitoline Museums are one stop you'll definitely want to make on your museum trip. Designed by Michelangelo, a group of art and archaeological museums sit together on top of Capitoline Hill in Rome. Nearby, Museo de la Arapaches, or simply known as Arapaches, has made a name for itself in the historical center of Rome. As you head from museum to museum, be sure to stop in at some of the local stores. 
Beyond the famous Italian names and labels heard inside major department stores around the world, are generations of local families who have owned and run their family businesses of leather handbags, tailored suits, designer accessories, and shoes deep in the heart of Rome. In between sightseeing, lace up your walking shoes and head over to the Spanish Steps, or known to locals as Piazza de España. This is a beautiful piazza that's home to the widest and most iconic steps in Europe. The monument of Victor Emmanuel II is a massive white monument you can't miss. It was built to honor Victor Emmanuel, the first king of unified Italy. The monument dominates Piazza Venezia and is worth a stair climb for the view. After sightseeing and absorbing all cultural richness and feeding your soul with history and art, feed your body with some of the best food Europe has to offer. They say the best way to experience a new country is tasting your way through it. And Italians know how to give you a great culinary trip. The key to Italian cuisine is simplicity and bold flavors. Many of the recipes are handed down from generation to generation by memory without cookbooks. Layers and layers of homemade pasta are made daily at authentic restaurants or trattorias. Every pasta sauce has a story and special recipe behind it. Every scoop of gelato crafted to be the perfect combination of sweet and creamy and every cup of cappuccino served at just the right temperature. Brewed to be perfect strength thanks to baristas that are part of many Romans' day-to-day -day lives. Along with baristas, Rome is a culinary hotspot that is home to some of the best chefs in the world. The key to enjoying all the tastes and dishes is to have an open mind. Flavors and ingredients you might not have experienced in your native country might be awaiting you at your next meal in Rome. So, be open to trying something new. Traditional delis and high-end meat markets will give you a sneak peek of what to expect once you sit down and enjoy a true Italian meal. Fresh cuts of meats, large steaks, and only the biggest and best grades can be found inside along with deli meats, cheeses, and deli sides. If you're looking for the staple food that makes Italy famous, then the pasta capital of the world won't disappoint. Especially Rome's signature pasta, fettuccine. How can anyone resist the flavor, the smell, and the art of twirling pasta noodles in rich butter sprinkled with cheese? Along with fettuccine, different types of pasta can be found at age-old restaurants from family-owned establishments. Chain restaurants simply don't exist in the historical areas of the city. Bowls of traditional spaghetti, ravioli, authentic pizza, then there's linguine, risotto, bruschetta, the list goes on and on and so do the courses. Italians love to savor their meals and take their time. Each course brings a new theme and a flavor to your palate. If you want to capture the authenticity of a real Italian meal, set aside a few hours and a few courses. An authentic meal can last through seven courses and take about three hours. Each course outdoes the last and builds upon taste from the last dish. It's something to experience while in Rome. Cheeses are another simplistic joy of meals. Fresh mozzarella is made all throughout Rome, Parmesan, ricotta, and many more are locally made and that freshness comes through in every bite. It's customary to find several types of cheeses sliced and plated next to olives and fresh bread. Many locals enjoy it as a snack or light meal. On the flip side of pizza, pasta, and heavy eating is the other great cuisine Romans are known for, that of the Mediterranean. You can find generous portions of salads, fresh seafood, 
olives, lighter cheeses, and fresh medleys across the city. Something that's special to Italy and many European cities is regional flavors and dishes. What might be popular in one region doesn't hold true in another. For instance, in Rome, seasonal traditional dishes are what shape the culinary landscape of menus inside the city's historical restaurants. Here are a few dishes you might want to try to get the full experience of the local flavor. Spaghetti alla carbonara is a bacon, egg, and cheese sauce pasta that many Romans enjoy for lunch. And then there's a bacchio, which is a suckling lamb seasoned with fresh rosemary. The meat is roasted until it's so tender it melts in your mouth. It's definitely worth a taste. Carchofia la Judia, deep fried artichokes. Filetto de bacala are also deep fried cod fillets. Originally a Jewish specialty, many Romans grew to enjoy the dish and now it has become a favorite dish all over the city. And a meal wouldn't be complete without a great glass of vino. Next to olive oil, vineyards are big family-run businesses that dominate the countryside near Rome. And with so many different vineyards surrounding Rome, the wine selections are plentiful. Whether you love red or white, dry or sweet, there's definitely a wine selection for you and story behind the bottle you select. You can taste the sincerity behind family-run brands, which is part of the attraction to the hundreds of locally produced labels. If you get a chance to venture out and tour a winery, it's definitely worth the experience. Coffee bars are not just for breakfast. Italians love to sip on their mochas, cappuccinos, and espressos all throughout the city. And you can enjoy a scoop of gelato inside many of the coffee bars as the perfect sweet treat. If you've never experienced gelato, treat yourself to a scoop or two. It has less fat than traditional ice cream, so it won't coat your mouth and allows you to taste more of the flavors. You can indulge in everything from amaretto and tiramisu to traditional flavors like chocolate and vanilla. And speaking of desserts, Romans really know how to treat themselves to a little something extra at the end of the day. If you're looking for a little more than just a scoop of gelato, the selection of must-try desserts is overwhelming. It's one row after another of everything sweet, sugary, and baked, not to mention simple. It's little wonder why it's often been said, chi mangia bene, mangia italiano. Now a trip to Rome wouldn't be complete without shopping the many historical streets of the city. Besides Milan, Rome is a city known for its high-end fashion. And there's no doubt you've heard of all the window shopping done on the main streets where the big brand names have rows and rows of stores set up. But in between the big names you've seen in department stores and names flashed across billboards are local merchants whose leather goods, purses, fur coats, tailored men's suits, watches, shoes, and much more are beautifully showcased in stores loved by local Romans. Here you'll find goods designed and created just as they've been done generation after generation. So be sure to add Via de Campo Marcio, Via Fratina, Piazza San Silvestro to your list of shopping stops. Behind every beautifully sculpted doorway is a shop owner, many of whom are carrying on a family legacy of a century or more in a certain craft of their store's main good. Secrets of the trade have been passed on, making these creators more than just producers, but artisans. Some of these families are four or five generations into the skill of making some of the best handbags elegant home decor, and beautiful bedding sets produced in the very same location, and all while choosing not to go global and keeping their brand local. Every product carries the Made in Italy authenticity and proudly represents what the brand stands for, quality. Making every good purchased authentic. 
The Italian's personal commitment to perfection and excellence shines through in every aspect of their retail process. Beyond the Italian label is one more crowning jewel to each authentic item. That is the stamp of excellence of being crafted in Rome. The Made in Italy label is endorsed and recognized by merchants, consumers and collectors from continent to continent, but the added note of being conceptualized, designed and handmade in Rome gives it extra merit. It's a label and city of origin many buy to have, but only elite stores carry. Being part of this label is something only a handful of top-tier businesses can proudly display in their storefronts. And many of these businesses are found in the historical center or near famous landmarks. So just what will you find on one of the main streets of Rome and vias nearby such as Everything from ancient Roman jewelry and watches to tailored men's suits, custom-made glasses, home linens and stationery. All of these products are locally produced and crafted to perfection, one at a time. Every stitch, every bead, every dot of ink are all given focus and care of someone inside the shop. From locally made watches that stand the test of time, to fur coats made by hand, each one is made one at a time and not mass produced. The time that goes into selecting each fur and designing each coat with every customer in mind is remarkable. You'll walk away with a timeless piece that is sure to complement any outfit on a cold night. Not to mention tailored men's suits and shirts for men. The countless hours of craftsmanship that go into every coat don't go unnoticed. Every tie, every suit coat, every shirt is handmade to fit every man. No two suits are alike. From start to finish, every man will leave with a garment that was designed with just them in mind, like a unique thumbprint that they can add to their wardrobe. Or a pair of custom-made glasses or sunglasses. The designer names and handmade original frames take over dozens and dozens of store shelves. Whether you know what you're looking for or feel like browsing, you won't be short on options. Or something for your home in one single place and all made from the finest Italian fabrics. Precision, custom work and handcrafting perfection is what is behind the Made in Rome label is all about especially at this tiny shop nearby where their work can light up any room. Here you'll find unique lamps made out of unusual and striking materials. The lamps are all made inside the store from start to finish and are a true work of art. And don't forget to send back letters and postcards to loved ones about your trip. There are stationery and pin shops along the way where you can find beautifully monogrammed paper, pens, envelopes, cards, and much more. You can even find daily planners and office supplies to give your home office or desk a touch of Italy back home long after your trip is over. Whether you're traveling to Rome by air, land, or sea, your final destination is one of beauty and history. Your stay will be filled with culture, food, sightseeing, and memories. We hope you've enjoyed learning a little more about the Eternal City so many come back to see every year. Have a safe journey and enjoy your stay in El Bel Paese. Arrivederci!